the northeast of Guatemala, there's a huge lake called Lago Isabal. From the lake runs the river Rio Dulce. The river runs all the way to the Caribbean Sea. From this overlander spot, we could explore El Paraiso waterfall and Livingston, a Garifuna community on the Caribbean. This spot is owned by a mechanic we met in Guatemala City, who lets travelers come enjoy his place. Some overlander friends happen to be there at the same time as us. We decided to explore the area together. We originally met them in Oaxaca, then again in Atitlan for New Year's Eve. They were staying here to ship their rig to Colombia. The road to El Paraiso was semi-sketchy, so we decided to go together. But our walk through the rainforest to the waterfall was beautiful. Sabrita's always aiming to please. Her loyalty brought her to come swimming with us you for her first now. time. Sabrita! Did you have your first swim, baby? Did you have your first swim? We hiked to the top of the waterfall, then all the way to where the water exits the ground, the hottest point. People use the mud from around the top to exfoliate, but we opted out. It costs 15 quetzales each to enter El Paraiso and 10 quetzales to park. Danny quickly became a part of the local crew, talking with the kids in Spanish and learning how to get to the best jumping spots. Water from the hot springs flow over mineral crusted waterfall while the river carries cool water. Wading back and forth from the warm waterfall to the cool river was perfect. These kids knew all the tricks here, but were only able to bust out this maneuver while the guard was too busy talking with someone and facing the other way. Eventually, he kicked them out for being too wild. But it was awesome to see these local kids doing their thing. So let me step. Tony.
Getting to Livingston is next to impossible by road, so we took a boat from our campsite on Rio Dulce all the way to the Caribbean coast. It's 800 quetzales to run a private boat or 200 quetzales to ride on a colectivo. Since there are four of us, it worked out to get a private boat. Once we got to Livingston, we took a walk around the Garifuna community led by a man we met while wandering the small town named Philip Flores. He introduced us to a tasty restaurant very different from most in Guatemala. We were lucky enough to try different Garifuna flavors, our favorite being the green banana fritters. They even had a vegan topada for me. After walking a little bit, we decided to hail a tuk-tuk, a Guatemalan moto taxi, to get us to the pristine beach. It's been months since we've seen the Caribbean. We loved feeling the warm waters. I'd like to spend a little more time in Livingston, but our morning ride was too rough to head there fast. Luckily, the way home was super smooth. The sunsets every night really showed us why this place is called Rio Dulce. So sweet. Thanks for watching.